I'm Teacher Mike, and today we are going to talk about the names of these things that I have in front of me. Some of these things are glasses, and some of them are not glasses. So, let's find out what they are. And let's start with the most common ones first. So, everyone has probably seen one of these before. This is just a glass. And when a glass is straight, like this one, you can also call it a tumbler. So this is a glass, or a tumbler, or a glass tumbler. This one is very similar to a glass or a tumbler. However, it's plastic. And when a glass is plastic, we can't call it a glass because it's not made from glass. So this is just a cup. A cup or a plastic cup. This one that you might put coffee or tea or hot cocoa in is called a mug. A mug always has a handle like this, so you can hold it very easily. If you have something similar to this, but it's a little bit smaller, that's probably a teacup or an espresso cup. This is also a mug, but we would never just call it a mug. This is a beer mug. It's a mug because it's big, it has the handle, but it's made for drinking beer. This is just a traditional wine glass. A traditional wine glass has this part right here. This is called a stem. This is also a wine glass, but it doesn't have a stem. So this is called a stemless wine glass. These are called old-fashioned glasses, or rocks glasses, or lowball glasses. They're called old-fashioned glasses because there's a drink called an old-fashioned and it is always served in this type of glass. They're called rocks glasses because when you order whiskey on the rocks, they give it to you in this type of glass. Also, whiskey on the rocks means whiskey with ice. This little glass is called a shot glass. When you pour alcohol, into a glass like this, you have one shot of alcohol. If you drink it like this, that is called taking a shot. In the United States, when you buy a bottle of alcohol that is this size, 750 milliliters, we call that a fifth because it is one fifth of a gallon. So if you see a whiskey that you want to buy, behind the counter in the liquor store and you want this size bottle, you could say, um, could you please give me a fifth of that whiskey? This type of container that's made from glass and has a lid that you can twist on and off is called a jar. This type of container that has a lid that you can twist on and off and you can put liquid inside of it to keep it very hot or to keep it very cold is called a thermos. And this thermos could also be called a travel mug because it has a handle like a mug, but because it has a lid and it keeps your drink hot or cold, you can travel with it very easily. This type of container that you use to pour drinks, and it may or may not have a lid on the top, in the United States, this is usually called a pitcher. But in the United Kingdom, I believe it's usually called a jug. So at many bars and restaurants in the United States, you could order a pitcher of beer. Or if you're at home, you could make a pitcher of lemonade with your children. And you probably already know this, but this is called a bottle. But I want to talk about it a little bit just to focus on the pronunciation. You can hear that I said bottle. Because I'm American, I use something called the flap T or the tap T, where to make the T sound, your tongue just goes up and down, but no air comes out. So I don't say 
bottle, bottle, I say bottle. However, sometimes when I'm speaking very clearly in a classroom, yeah, I might say bottle. And finally, we've got this thing that we use to open containers of liquid. This is called a bottle opener because we use it to open bottles. This part that you use to open a bottle of wine is called a corkscrew because the thing that's in the top of the bottle is called a cork. And this action is to screw. So you screw this into the cork and then you pull the cork out of the bottle. Corkscrew. And a corkscrew is one type of wine bottle opener. So yeah, I hope you guys learned something. Thank you for watching.